First, this half hour check washing thieves continue their scams across our area. This time, they're robbing businesses instead of individuals. Now, the thefts took place at the business mailboxes at the Wellington Plaza off Forest Hill Boulevard. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman is here with news of how small firms have lost large amounts of money. Dave? Tanya J, the property manager of the Wellington Plaza, says check washers have stolen incoming mail for five businesses, who, and they want the thief or thieves caught. A bank of mailboxes at the Wellington Plaza targeted by a check washing thief who appears to be cashing in. I'd say half a million dollars. Wow, half a million dollars. Half a million dollars. Mary O'Neill is the property manager of the Wellington Plaza. She says a postal service worker told her the crooks had a skeleton key. They stick a key right here. This key then opens this entire bank. Each box belongs to a tenant at the plaza. So what's happening is the perpetrator is coming they have the key to this, they open the entire box, they steal the checks. The checks then washed the thieves, changing the name of the recipient and dollar amounts, then cashing the checks, according to police. Crooks hit this cybersecurity business mailbox twice. According to a police report, a check to this Wellington Plaza business from the town of Juneau Beach was stolen in late September. And O'Neill says thieves hit another business last week. Well, our plan uh, is install a camera system, which we're in the process of doing. Mary O'Neill is telling her clients if they're sending checks in the mail, go across the street to the mall and go to the post office's indoor kiosk. The security measure comes after five Wellington businesses became the latest victims of check washing this year. In February, Delray Beach police said home mailboxes were targeted by thieves. In April, Boca Raton police say check washers stole checks from mail left in the Postal Service's collection boxes. St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputies say check washers hit five neighborhoods across the county in April and May. And here in Wellington, Mary O'Neill asked the post office to get a new skeleton key for the mailboxes at the Wellington Plaza. It's the only solution. We contacted the U.S. Postal Service Regional Headquarters to see if it would change the skeleton key for the mailboxes at the Wellington Plaza. Our calls and emails have not been returned. In the meantime, the law enforcement arm of the U.S. Postal Service confirms to Contact 5 it has launched a criminal investigation into the thefts and the check washing. But right now, no arrests have been made. I'm Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.